Today we're going to talk about the physical properties of alkanes. And the first thing that we need to know is that the number of carbons that are found in the alkane affect the physical properties. So, for example, for alkanes that contain from one to four carbons are found in nature in a gaseous form, so they are found as a gas, like methane, ethane, propane, butane, and so on. And for propane and butane, both of them are used as a gas for cooking and so, and they are mixed together in uh, proportions. So, in cold areas, we will find in the mixture more propane than the butane. In the hot areas, we will find the opposite. We'll find more butane than propane. Why? Because propane is more volatile than butane, or in other words, propane has a lower boiling point than butane because the number of carbons in butane is 4 while in propane is 3 so the number of bonds here will work on increasing the boiling point so that's why in cold areas we'll find more propane while in hot areas we'll find less propane because it's more volatile and then the gas will be less effective so that's for the carbons containing uh, for the number of carbons 1 to 4 now from 5 to 17 we'll find such alkanes in a liquid form like gasoline and kerosene and both of them are used as gas for cars as we already know. And finally, from 17 to infinity, these alkanes are found in a solid form such as paraffin wax. And the final thing that we need to know is that uh, Alkanes are nonpolar compounds and they're not soluble in water, so they are used to cover the heavy metals in machinery, for example. In order to prevent friction and prevent the corrosion of such machinery. So we'll suppose that this is and alkane. And that's it for today. The next time we will talk about the chemical properties of the alkanes. Until then, I thank you for watching and see you.